Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video, we're heading out onto Yukon Valley to hunt for the elusive red fox. And we're gonna focus on where to find them and everything you need to know to hunt them. But before we head into the video, if you haven't done so yet, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notify bell. And if you enjoy the video, please leave a like and a comment. Thank you guys so much for being here. And I also wanted to announce that I will be streaming from Twitch starting tomorrow, every Saturday from 1 to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's twitch.tv backslash ladylegendxo. Please stop by and say hello. That would be awesome. Let's talk about the loadout for hunting for red fox. So you can use the 300. That would be for moose, grizzlies, and for bison, the M1 for caribou and wolves, the 243 for the red fox, and the 22 for ducks. You can also take out the M1 and the 300 and just substitute the 7 mil. The 7 mil is good for all the species on the map except for red fox and for ducks. So those are your options and we have with us the antler rattler, the moose collar, the distress fawn, and the jackrabbit collar and that is our main collar for red fox and then we also have our first aid kit, our scent eliminator, and our night vision gen zero binoculars. And they come in the high-tech hunting pack along with the night vision scope which I am not using just because I'm just not a big fan of it. So for tonight's hunt we're going to be hunting foxes in their drink zone and they drink from 1900 to 2330. This is the best time to hunt for them because they're a lot easier to find when they're drinking. And I am going to share a map with you at the end of the video that's going to outline all of the spots that you will find red foxes drinking. And we found a level 5 female here. And that's the end of her life. <laughs> and she is a silver 8.1 trophy. So the red fox is a class 2 animal and because of that we are using the 243 to hunt them. It's not my favorite weapon but it will give you integrity. You can also use the 223 or the air rifle. And I think the 3030 as well. But we are using the 243 and because foxes are so very tiny, it is really important that you, I'm using my zeroing and what I'm doing is getting to exactly 150 meters before I take my shot because being off by 10 or 15 meters will definitely mess your shot up. And this is a level four female. Looks good. And she is a silver 7.8. And you'll notice that their trophy rating is their weight in kilograms. And it may be rounded up or down, but it'll be pretty close to that. And that was a heart shot. Pretty nice shot. <laughs> that was from 165 meters even. And you'll find when you are looking for the red fox that you usually find a male and a female together. Sometimes you'll find groups of up to four or five of them. Not very often. There's usually one or two usually two but i'm not finding many big ones on my map right now and the thing with red fox is that females can get very large unlike a lot of other species i the largest red fox female that i have seen has been mythical and if a red fox female can get to mythical you would think they'd be able to get to legendary so I have never heard or seen of anyone getting a legendary female fox, but if any of you have, please let me know in the comments. I would absolutely love to know about that. That would be crazily, insanely rare. <laughs> but yeah, the biggest fox that I can find, female-wise, will be going into my lodge for sure. And that dropped that female. And that is a silver 8.1. And what I'm doing here is I am killing every fox because I am hoping for a rare. It is really hard to tell when you're hunting them at night whether their fur is different. So you basically just have to shoot them all and hope to find one. And if not, it's always smart to hunt on your own map because then you can hopefully spawn one. And I'm also going to show you different species that you're going to run into while you're hunting for fox. And caribou drink from 5 to 9 a.m. and p.m. 
So you're gonna have that overlap from seven to nine. You're gonna have foxes drinking and caribou drinking. And this caribou here caught my eye because it looks a little different. That does not look common to me. So I'm going to shoot first and ask questions later. <laughs> And just as I shot, I heard a male fox yip at me. So I'm gonna go over, I always go over and check the tracks. Just to see if it happens to fall in the max weight range. And I'm always, always looking for disturbed vegetation to see if I can find a rare. That is a really important perk that you are going to want if you don't have is disturbed vegetation. And we found a leucistic caribou, that's very cool. Just a silver, 158.3, and we shot him in the right lung and liver, 227.08 meters. That's a pretty cool find, especially in the dark. And we have a level 5 male. I don't know where the big foxes are on my map, but that's fine. I just want a rare. I don't even care what size it is at this point. I just want a rare fox. I don't have any. I don't have a pie ball, I don't have a melanistic, and I don't have an albino. And those are three that I very much want. So I'm going to be doing a lot of fox grinding. And it can take a lot of time to hunt for fox because you only find maybe two at a time. And out of them, you'd be lucky to get both of them. Because as soon as you shoot for one, the other one's running for the hills. I mean, you can wait. They will eventually come back. This guy is attentive. As soon as they go nervous, don't bother calling. They are never going to come into your call when they're nervous. But this guy's attentive. I would imagine if a fox were albino, you would be able to tell in the dark, but that's probably the only one you could tell. I mean, depending how far away they are. Looks good. And that is a male silver, <laughs> 8.5. And that is a heart shot as well. Pretty sweet. All right. And the river system, that's what we're running right now. Ooh, that is a nice caribou. River system is awesome. You're gonna find lots of caribou and you're gonna find lots of foxes. I find that there are quite a few at the bottom forks of the river and I will show you on the map that seems to be where I'm finding a lot of them and that is a really pretty caribou it says its trophy goes up to 259 so I'll be interested it's got a score higher than that for sure that looks good pop that guy with the seven mil and it's lights out for him Putting a lot of pressure on my map. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, it's a pretty nice rack. Very, very nice. 345.7. So that is a gold. And yeah, it's interesting because with some of the species, the true rack will tell you their exact score in the estimate, the last number of the estimate. But with caribou, they're not telling you. It said that one up to what, 270 or 280 or something? Definitely not the correct score. And that's where we found that guy. And another female. <laughs> See, when they're out in the open here, you're good to go. Get to, you know, a safe distance, 150 meters, take your shot, and you're good to go. But when they're in a forest, I would get within 150 meters and put out a couple calls. Because often there can be foxes in the background that are drinking and you can't see them. They're often in the same area. So it can hurt to put out a couple calls and see what might come out of the woodwork. And that looks good. She is down. And she is a silver 5.4. She is a little one. And that was a left lung. That's a double lung shot. And we found her at that little lake there. I think I used up all my big males in the one legendary. So yeah, I did 
find a diamond red fox on my map. That was maybe four to six weeks ago, and I do have it in a video. The video is called Insane Hunt in Yukon, and I will leave the link below. And it's a pretty insane hunt. I managed to get that diamond fox and spotted it by accident after shooting a moose and just picked it up as my gun <laughs> shot up in the air. And then I managed to also get a diamond caribou. So that's a really awesome video. So we have here a level three moose and a level three female fox. And I'm going to try and take them both out. So I'm going to use the bow on the moose. He's about 70 out. Yeah, we smoked him. Let's see if we still have a fox. And we do. Uh, she's alarm. Sorry, it's a level four. But I think she's going to stick around. But not for long. <laughs> she's dead. So that's interesting. So the, because I was, I guess, far enough away, that shot with the bow did not spook the fox. And so we have a silver 6.5 trophy. And that was a double long heart shot. And we have a silver moose, 175.3. And we managed a double long from 71.64 meters. That was a pretty nice shot. And that's where we found them. So these little forks in the river, they're awesome for finding red fox. There's usually at least two zones I'm finding, especially at the bottom of the river there. And if you're very, very lucky when you're looking for them, you're going to run into some ducks and you might just find a level three. And that's what we have done. We have found a three here. I actually found two level threes while hunting for fox on my map. I'm only going to show you the one. I'll just take a second. And it's a diamond, 7.2 right on the nose. And he weighs 0 0.73 kilograms. And we popped him in the left lung from 158.28 meters. I think I like Harlequin the best out of all the ducks. I think they're the prettiest. And that's a sweet little find. We'll take that. And we found that guy swimming in the fork right down there in the bottom right corner. Now, the other thing that can be tricky when you're hunting for fox is these guys. They love to spook off your foxes. And I actually, before I even could press record, these guys were chasing off a level six female fox. So, yep. Then there's a little fox there. That one is a one. So yeah, a lot of the more northern lakes Fox like to drink there, but you may or may not find them because of the wolves. And this was a really good lake for foxes. There were two drink zones on this lake. And that is also a really good lake for wolves, <laughs> ironically, when they drink. And they drink from midnight to 3 a.m. And since this guy spooked off all our foxes, I might as well take a shot on at least one of them. Seven mil isn't the best for hunting for wolves, but they're really good for cash. So and I don't see them. <laughs> and that was a double lung. Pretty nice gold. 36.4. Oh my goodness. A level six male fox. I might, maybe, just might shoot a gold. <laughs> that seems to be a real trick on tonight's hunt. Every single fox is tiny. I have not found anything larger than a five. I don't know what's going on, but we have found a six, so he may or may not make gold. Fingers crossed. We have a level three female with him. And so when you're running around hunting for fox, you always want to pick up all the tracks you're, if you're looking for a diamond, you're looking for a 14 to 17 kilogram track, I believe. And, and we do have a gold. That is awesome. 10.5 trophy. He weighs 10.32 kilograms. And we popped him in the right lung from 129.91 meters. 
And I really hope he respawns as a piebald albino or melanistic fox. <laughs> that is my wish for you, my friend. So yeah, I went to all kinds of lakes. All of these lakes here in the middle, they will all have foxes drinking on them. But that one there is one of my favorites. So here is where I found fox on the map. The two lakes with the stars are the lakes that I have shot diamonds at. The lake on the right with the star is the lake that I have actually shot two diamond fox off of. One was actually drinking on the lake and the other was approaching the lake. So that's an awesome lake. So yeah, lots and lots of foxes. You're going to find them all over the map. These are your best places to start. And I even went to the bottom lakes last night and most of them had foxes drinking on them. And I have circled the bottom right corner forks of the river, but you will still find fox drinking along the rest of it. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you find it really helpful. If you haven't done so yet, please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can join us for more videos. Until next time, head out there and slay yourself some red fox. You take care.